Good day ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Sivano CHD. If this is your first time here, kindly click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon for notifications. Whenever I drop new videos, you always stay updated and notified. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram with Master Blessed. I really, really appreciate that. And if you enjoy the work and appreciate the work I do here at Sivano CHD, make sure you slap a like on this video and share with your friends. I also appreciate that also. Kidwaya's father was allegedly arrested for money laundry. Beverly Osu laments over poor delivery services in Nigeria. Tacha talks about how we Nigerians need to be active citizens so that this country can move forward. So first, I'm going to start with the story of Kidwaya. Kidwaya brags that the difference between him and you is that he works hard. The reality star and billionaire's son, Tisa Kidwaya, has subtly shaded whomever the cap fit about hard work gave him all he has. The love interest of the disqualified housemates of the 2020 edition made this known in a recent tweet after being constantly dragged. Kidwaya, who was recently trued for talking too much, took to Twitter to make a declaration to set boundaries between himself and those people attacking him. That's the trolls. He wrote, the difference between you and I is I work hard, the rest is just excuses. After I posted this, this didn't go down well with some Nigerians, as some Nigerians on Twitter dragged him. He also reminded Kidwaya of how his billionaire father, Terry Wire, looted Nigeria's money. Someone tweeted, wait, you are saying you are more hardworking than some people. No be your fault, then bore you for your money day. Go BBN, go collect fame, come the drop motivational speech, me self go make him. Then somebody also said, the difference is privilege, you are lucky more privilege with better opportunities not the yan okoto for person here then somebody said just like your dad and shared a magazine poster of the terrible ways of terry wire and also a post about how terry wire was convicted for money laundering in the uk What do you think about this, guys? Let us know what you think about this in the comment section. While all this was happening with Kidwire, Lacon liked a post which um, a fan used in shading Kidwire. And Lacon was also dragged along on social media saying he's, he's a very manipulative person. BB Nigeria reality star Lacon has been reportedly called out on social media after he liked a tweet that shaded his co star Kidwire. In a reaction to the post, a fan shared a meme telling Kidwire to get out from his face. Interestingly, it was noticed that Lacon liked it and fans wasted no time in coming for him. Seeing as he was being dragged, the reality show star then removed his like from the post and fans called him two-faced for doing that. What do you think about this guys? Do you think it, it's fair for Lacon to be dragged also? Or is, is it fair for Lacon to be dragged also? Personally, I think Lacon can like whatever he wants to like. He has the same right as everybody on social media, so they should just allow the guy be and allow the guy enjoy his account and his fame. So people should stop dragging Lacon for matter with no concern now. Still on the update, actress Beverly Osu laments bitterly over poor delivery services in Nigeria. She laments bitterly after what she bought the package she got from Turkey got broken. And like the most annoying part of it is that a fragile sticker was placed on the box and the still of handled it. In fact, let's take a look at the video. This Nigerian delivery people. Can you just deliver things in peace? Like, just negodu na kita. Just eh, negodu my lamp. Just look at this thing. They broke my money. Not only this, they broke my tray and my ornaments. Like the Turkey people already did their job. They wrote fragile. He full of fragile elba. Like this fucking broke. If you complain, like Nigeria, can you just be any better? For us, like human beings, just that. What What do you think about this, guys? Can you relate to? Can you relate to her story? Can you relate? Let us know your opinion. Let us know in the comment section. Lastly, on the updates, and lastly on BB Ninja, Tacha talks about how we need to be active citizens so that this country can move forward and like laws and everything can work well. In fact, let's take a look at the video of her saying everything. America is not one of the greatest countries in the world because of its government. You see those people? They have love for country. Now, with that being said, we need to understand that in this country, we have a system and we have a hierarchy. Now, before we go to the top to start screaming, Buhari has done this, or Buhari is the reason why my street is bad, or Buhari is the reason why we have bad roads, or we have refugees on the road, or Buhari is the reason why certain things aren't working in my community, we need to understand that they are public servants there to serve us and to answer us. Now, looking at local governments, 
for instance how many of us know our local government chairman how many of us knows the responsibilities of our local government chairman how many of us question what the funds being allocated to our local government is being used for we have senators that when they need their votes they are out here chopping a car with us sweeping our roads sweeping our streets but they get voted in and they are missing they are completely quiet are we channeling our energy to them are we asking them questions no we aren't everything has to be the president of the country now let's take a look at the answers protest for instance how many times were we addressed by our president and on a normal day how many times do we get addressed by our president we have the igp on tv addressing us on a steady giving us updates on a steady this is what we don't see on a normal day why because we channeled our energy to the right people from the local government level to the federal government level because the federal government is not going to do what they are supposed to do and the local level isn't doing anything the system is still not going to work and we as citizens now we they suffer and pass Mm. What do you think about these guys? Do you agree with her? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. That is all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you appreciate the hard work I do here over at Ivanos HD, make sure you slap a like on this video, click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, and also click on the bell icon for notifications. So whenever I drop new videos, you always stay updated and notified. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram with that master blessed. I really, really appreciate that. I'm trying to go live every day uh, from like next week. I'm trying to go live. I said this week at first, but I couldn't balance my schedule but as from as of next as from next week i'll start going live on instagram every single day to talk to you guys and like know the kind of videos you want to see and know more about you guys take care guys stay safe stay blessed thank you for your support and peace i pray that pickiness will not kill me i pray that pickiness will not lead me to dying alone bobo if i wasn't so picky there's one easy right now there's a girl homeless she they carry bag up and down for weeks now <sighs> all you have to do is just offer a place to sleep have a free pussy <laughs> public <laughs> but her face no fun for my standard her face no fun i swear you say her face fine i for don't jump in but guess what somebody like her uh, one middle-aged man like that already carry her just now <laughs> i swear this middle-aged man just carry her i say yay papa you are going to enjoy this young girl